Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time Gaming video. Today I'm going to be painting Iden Versio for use in Star Wars Legion. I've been really excited to get hold of this one ever since seeing it announced. I didn't pick it up straight away because I had other stuff going on, but I've now got it. I've built her and I'm going to get up some paint on her. Before we get started though, let's get that kettle on. Okay, so we've got the uh, model built and we've base coated it with a Games Workshop Grey Sear spray paint. Now, I can't recommend using this stuff enough. It's so thin, takes away none of the detail at all, sinks into the recesses nicely and leaves your miniature looking really, really good and ready to get some actual, you know, colours on there. We've also got the little droid, which we'll start off with uh, now. So what you'll notice straight away is I've always already put some uh, grit onto the actual base of the model to make it a little bit easier later on. Well, the first paint we're going to be using is the Contrast Black Templar. Now this is a really, really great paint. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know this is sort of my go-to now for any sort of black areas. No matter whether they're small or big, it's really, really good. But What's great about putting it on this miniature is there's so much detail on the mini that it's going to drop into all those recesses really, really nicely and you're going to get a really good looking mini straight off the bat with only using one, one paint on this actual miniature. Then we'll put a little bit of detail on there obviously, but it's, you know, on its own, it looks absolutely fantastic. You can already see there just around the top of the actual droid that it's already pulling away from those areas. Uh, and starting to look really really good obviously you need to let the top dry before you switch it and then paint the legs um, which is fairly fairly easy to be honest while we're waiting for that to dry and uh, we'll put a little bit of paint onto the actual base though now I'm going with a sort of a um, end or sort of a feel for this particular model because uh, that's what I did the original box set with so all the stormtroopers I've got um, sort of from the rebellion era are already uh, focused around Endor so that's what I'm going to go with with this one and I'm starting off just putting a, a complete coat of Rhinox hide all over the top of the base all over that um, fine sand that we stuck to the base earlier on obviously you need to wait for that to, this to dry wait for the PVA to completely dry before you actually uh, put any paint on there else you'll just end up moving uh, the the gravel around essentially and we don't want that to happen you can then stick your miniature on the top and he's ready to ready to continue basically he's already looking pretty pretty good I'm really really pleased the, the brown is a little bit dark so I'm just going to use a little bit of mournfang to bring out some of the raised areas uh, just by using the dry brush you see there all you do is get a little bit of paint on that brush wipe off the majority and then essentially you're dry brushing straight over the top and it just picks up those raised areas and looks fantastic now as I mentioned earlier we've got a little bit of detail on the droid we're just going to put a little bit of paint on here now the paint I'm using here is Mephiston red um, all I'm doing is dotting a little bit just on the lens itself and that's all I'm going to do um, from a detailing point of view I am just going to drop a little bit of evil um, suns red just on the uh, center of that area where we put the Mephiston red just so it looks like it's glowing and it's turned on so you've got the dark area around the edge with the light in the middle and it looks really really good but that's essentially the droid done other than the, a little bit of detail on the base and we'll move on to Iden herself now with any of the miniatures that you've seen me paint recently, the first thing I always try and do is the face because to be honest, I hate painting faces. It really, really annoys me. I don't want to paint the eyes, but you know, it's one of the things that make our miniatures look really, really great. Now I know you're probably asking, why didn't I put the helmet on? Well, it's Iden Versio and I wanted it to be different. Now the first thing you can see I've just done is paint a little bit of black, um, just put a little bit of black paint just on the eye and draw a line from the nose out to the edge of the eye. And now we're doing exactly the same thing with a bit of white paint. Now what we're doing here essentially is creating a shadowed area with the eyeball in the center. Now if you try to do the white and then put a little bit of black in around um, just to create the shadow, it's a nightmare and it, it, it's really, really difficult to do. So I like doing it this way. 
The third stage in doing the eyes is get a little bit of black paint again and just to dot it just on the center of the eye and what this does is create a little dot which is essentially the iris and you don't have to go into colors with this because you know that we're looking at these from three foot away when we're playing with them on the table now to start the actual skin now i have found this is the easiest and fastest way to, to actually get a skin a decent colored skin um, color on your actual miniatures and I'm just using con another contrast paint called Gullim and Flesh I'm just coating the whole of the skin with that um, if you want to use a, a, little, a little bit of shading just in some of the recessed areas around the nose and that sort of thing I do say go with like a fire slayer flesh or something like that but you really don't have to you can stick with the Gullim and Flesh and that does everything you need to do um, if you're wanting it to look absolutely amazing and look like it does on screen and then this is probably the wrong video for you we're, all we're doing now is getting the tabletop ready getting it looking really really good to, to get get them on the tabletop as soon as possible now the next paint we're going to be using is again uh, we're going back to the contrast uh, black templar and I'm essentially painting the rest of the model because if you if you look at the um, little bit of um, the little image just on the top left of your screen there, it's just showing Iden Versio that as you see her in Battlefront 2, you can see that her uniform essentially is all black, uh, bar the red detail on there. Now you haven't got the we haven't got like the center console on her chest on the actual miniature. I'm not sure why that is, but we have it's not included on the actual miniature in the sculpt. So we haven't got to worry about any of the colours on there. All we need to do is get black across the whole model. Now you will notice that you've got the um, the belt, the gloves, the boots and also the chest plate are all sort of a um, like a slight, they've all got like a slight sheen, a like slight shine about them. Now how I'm going to get this effect is to paint the whole miniature with the black Templar and then go over those areas again. So what it does, it, it pulls away from the raised areas on all the clothing giving you that grey sort of a look and then you just get in a, like a nice matte black just on those uh, sort of leather areas which looks really really good now the next thing we're going to do here is to pick out some of those raised areas on her weapon and we're going to be dry brushing some silver paint to get that effect now all you need to do as I said earlier is get a bit of paint on your brush wipe off the majority onto a palette or a tissue or something like that so you've only got a small amount of paint on the brush and all you do then is touch over the raised areas as you can see I'm doing here and what it does is just pick out the, the, those raised areas as silver and leave the other areas dark which is, works really really well now moving on to the red areas I'll grab that Mephiston red again that we used earlier on the droid and all I'm doing is drawing the four lines that you can see on her right shoulder now you can see that in the reference photo just using on the top left there that that's sort of the only area you see red other than the red stripes down her arms now to do that you they're actually are molded into the miniature so you don't need to go to that much effort however the stripe isn't molded into the miniature so you do need to have a look at where you want to want this to go and sort of try and find a, a decent uh, sort of area that you want to go with now with all the miniatures that you've seen me paint recently I've painted the rims of the base black because I think it frames it really really nicely. Now I know Fancy Flight Games have gone to the effort of colouring them so you know which armies there are but we know what which armies these go with don't we. And now just to add a little bit of detailing around the base I've just put a little bit of super glue and I've got a bit of static grass, a bit of flock, um, a few grass tufts and I'm just popping them onto the base there to make it look a little bit more like it would do on end or a little bit grassy with a bit of mud around and I think it works really really well to be honest and that's you know you don't need to add any more detail than that um, to get them looking really really good as you can see there the models are complete and I think they look fantastic you can see what I was talking about just on Iden Versio with the boots and the, the gloves and the chest plate compared to the trousers you've got a lot more of the lighter grey areas in where the, the contrast paint's done its stuff and pulled away from those raised areas into the recesses and the, the black looks really really neat really clean uh, on the on the rest of the miniatures which is essentially the leather you can see on the the droid looks fantastic as well and all we used with the droid was the contrast black templar and you know the red for his lens you can see the reference image that we use there and i think it's not far off to be honest with you i think it's it's pretty much spot on and i'm really really pleased with how she looks thanks for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos go and check out the channel now for more great content there's loads of painting videos including games workshop star wars and loads of fantasy settings such as frostgrave and one of my favorites boris and badgers otherwise i'll see you in the next one